Joe Tomorrow from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, the first thing you want to do is hit that subscribe button below. That will allow you to get the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox from YouTube every time we publish. All right, welcome back to the Hydromax Spa Pump Repair Series. We're here with a Hydromax Spa Pump that came out of a Dimension One Spa. Now, remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so in this episode here, I think we're about like episode 18, 19, or 20. All right, we just showed you how to put on the, the stationary switch. In the earlier step, we showed you how to put on the governor, uh, the governor switch. So if you need to see those steps or you need to see the rest of the repair, just go on back and start from part one and we'll teach you step by step in HD how to repair this pump. All right, but now in this episode, we're gonna be talking to you about how to put on the capacitor. Now, to some professional pool technicians you might be thinking this is ridiculous why did you have to break down a whole specific video for this or if you're just a regular homeowner you're probably like yeah bonus video 752 but or maybe you're not that excited as I am but there are some a couple of little pointers that I want to show you when I install this capacitor okay a couple of my helpers and other people that work on this stuff don't realize these tiny little things but since we have such great lighting and great you know stuff in here we're gonna show you up close okay now the capacitor is going to sit on the back here, but what I want you to see is there's a little lip here or a little shelf. See that right there? Okay, we're going to, when the capacitor sits, that edge of that capacitor has to catch that little lip. So some people just mount it on here and they're like, oh, let me put it here or let me put it here. They have no idea where it really goes. But the capacitor actually sits in here and gets caught on that little lip right there. You see that? That capacitor gets caught right on that little lip. I'll move it back a little so you can see it. There you go. So that capacitor sits right on that little lip right there, right? All right, so the next thing you want to do is take your capacitor guard. This protects it, you know, so then any electrical, you know, wires don't you know throw a spark stuff like that so you want to make sure you're in the little lip right there then you want to take your capacitor guard cover just like that place it right on there like that then you want to take your little screw like this the little screw and the capacitor hold down bracket and you want to put it right on top of the capacitor just like that okay once you put it on top of the capacitor don't struggle like me here I'm trying to see and talk at the same time and you want to get that little capacitor bracket inside the capacitor hole okay you're gonna line up this piece of plastic right here and the bracket all at once which is a little tricky but you will get it if you persevere like me okay so here we go i'm gonna make sure my capacitor is seated on that little shelf right there which it is i've got my screw there and i'm gonna tighten it down just like this okay so there you go i've tightened down don't go crazy you don't have to tighten it super tight but you want to tighten it pretty good. now you can see the capacitor does not move the guard is there, so when we put the cover on, this is going to fold over the wires. We can see our stationary switches there. We can see that there are no wires. Uh, when we spin, that's another thing to check for. You want to make sure there's no wires in the way, no wires protruding inside there. Nothing's going to get caught up when we start up this motor. All right, so there you go. The capacitor's on. The back cover's on. Um, normally, I would tell you at this point, you could take your back cover just like this, which we're going to be showing you later as well. We're going to make a step at that, and we're going to show you how to mount this back cover on. But we're going to be bench testing, so we're going to be hooking up wires here in a minute, and we're going to leave that back cover off. But at the end, we're going to show you how to put that back cover on. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. Like I said, please subscribe. Please give us a a like if you have any problems give us a call uh thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com and uh we'll see you back in the next step peace